Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode. We have a brand new project. This is getting ready to launch. We're just days away and I'm actually here with one of the members of their team. His name is Anthony. I'm going to introduce him in just a moment and we're going to go ahead and get some major questions answered on this new project. I've had a little bit of time myself to review this. I do want to let you guys know that this is a sponsored video and reviewing this project on my own, there's some interesting mechanics that they're bringing to the table with the launch of their project, which I think really fits in line with their name, which is Luckyverse. You got this leprechaun, the pot of gold, the rainbow, that kind of elements to it, right? Obviously the lucky four leaf clover. So I'm gonna let him talk a little bit more about the project, but if you wanna find out more about this project, I will include links down in the description below. So with that being said, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please go do your own research. Let's go ahead and introduce Anthony. How's it going, Anthony? Can you tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do with Luckyverse? Awesome. Uh, thank you. Appreciate you having me on the show here. Um, again, my name is Anthony. Uh, I have 25 years of experience in web development and um, uh, learning management systems. Um, so what I bring to the table here is my vast knowledge of uh, technology. And uh, I'm one of about three co-founders. And that's what I do. Awesome. Well, yeah, I'm happy to have you here. And I always love it when I can review a new project and I have a member of the team come on board, especially if they put a webcam on, because having a face behind the project, I feel just adds another layer of legitimacy, because obviously when a new project launches, people are oftentimes very skeptical or scared whether or not they can trust a project. So yeah, I'm very happy to have you on board. And I think that that's a good start. So I do have a series of questions that I've prepared. If people have questions, I can see that they, like for example, you guys have a Telegram group. I'm sure they could join that, Absolutely. be able to go ask you guys questions personally there as well, correct? That's correct. Okay, let's go ahead and roll into my first question. Can you tell us a little bit about Luckyverse? Yeah, um, Luckyverse uh, is basically a, what I call a gamification DeFi token. Um, driven by the interest of people who wants to go after a specific jackpot that we have in, in the uh, in the game for themselves or you can be a guard of that jackpot and then help create a lightning storm that generates enough power to um strike the pot of gold and the great thing about it it sends that pot of gold back to everyone in the community um lucky verse have seven ways that holders can benefit from the token um, read our white paper and read our website. You'll be you'll see how those seven ways uh, are. Let me just go briefly, real quick, on the the points of those uh, seven ways. One is the lucky reflection, which we call the gold rain. Basically, you get reflections um, with every buy and sell, two percent on every buy, three percent on every sell. We do a lucky draw um, every day. We pick one person from our holders, and then we reward them with hundred dollars of lucky tokens and then we have the lucky buy which is basically like the last buy that lucky buy you go it's a point one bnb that you buy that qualifies you as a lucky buy and then if 11 minutes go without a, a single buy then that lucky buy wins uh half the pot of jack half the pot of gold which is the jackpot then we move on to the lucky zone now if no if you don't win the lucky buy at least if you're within the lucky zone which is a 12 previous buy surrounding that last buy you get 25 dollars in lucky verse tokens as well and then the next way of winning or uh, benefiting from the lucky token is the lucky strike or li the lightning strike and what happens is is if the we have a set amount that caps the pot of gold and that's the buy and sell pressure is what we call the the thunderstorm so when there's enough buy and sell pressure that increases the pot of gold's value, every time there's a buy and sell, the pot of gold's value increases. So when it reaches its capacity, it creates a lightning strike. And the great thing about our lightning strike is once the, the, the pot of gold is hit, it uh, takes that BNB, it buys a lucky token, it jumps up a, a green candle on the charts, and then it sends all that, um, uh, it buys it, the, the lucky token, and then it sends all those tokens back to all the holders. So everybody wins. And that's where we have the saying that if no one wins, everyone wins. So that's the lucky, uh, the lightning strike. And then last is our lottery pool. Great thing about the lottery pool is 
every holder automatically becomes part of the lucky the lottery um, pool and what what we mean by this is every week we'll buy a u.s lottery um which is the mega million or the powerball and then we buy those tickets and if we happen to win it big then we take those those winnings from the lottery and then we pay it out to all of our holders and then uh later on uh you can read our white paper or you can re go to our website and you can see how we pay those out uh or we can discuss it later on in the video um but that's the seven ways how you can uh benefit from the the um holding the lucky token interesting well i also noticed on your website that you guys have a pre-sale that's coming up here in about it's about seven days from the time that we're doing this recording can you just elaborate a little bit more on that oh absolutely our pre-sale is is going to be uh, held on pink sale so you go to pink and then you go to um the launch pad on the left side and search for lucky verse or you can click on the um, pink cell uh, button on our website it'll take you straight to our pink cell page here during the pink sale you can um, put the amount of bnb that you want to exchange for the lucky tokens and then uh, at the pre-sale you get 45 let me see make sure yeah you get 45,000 lucky tokens for, for each bnb you that you trade for it um so it's great to buy at the pre-sale because you get it at a, at, a, at a very good discount and then when we go on to the live sale you've already got uh, profits built in awesome my next question for you is what was the inspiration to make this project oh that's a good question um hope is really was the inspiration i wanted to create a token a project that a common person can wrap their head around a project that doesn't take a rocket science degree or a MBA to understand what the project does, a project that would foster fun, FOMO, and a real possibility for financial freedom for everyone that holds the token. So that's why we uh, made a roadmap with innovative products and services that ensure that the token has longevity as well. But that's the reason why we made the token. So what are your long-term goals? Our long-term goal, um, first is to create a DeFi wallet that will make it simple and easy to track Luckyverse tokens and activities, track all the game elements that we have for the jackpot, such as the jackpot timer, the jackpot value, jackpot winners, your daily reflections that you receive, uh, you will get push notifications for uh, any winners that win the jackpots. Uh, of course, token swap features. And then we're going to also support um, in that wallet, uh, multi-coin and multi-chain support. But lastly, but definitely not least, make sure that wallet has iron class security. Um, after that, our focus will be on is our misfit NFTs, which will have uh, income generating elements um, to it. The NFTs will automatically qualify you for gold level payout on a lottery pool, pool drawings. And it will be, uh, and we will add, continue to add more exclusive services for these mid-fit uh, NFT holders or owners. Um, then the ultimate goal is to focus on our own metaverse, where we are already in talks with the real engine developer um, to engineer and design a unique metaverse for us. Uh, one of the ideas, this is the idea that I'm just gonna throw out there for the early uh, people who's watching this video, of course these can change but the idea is to have something similar to a landscape that resembles the las vegas strip where you can uh enter the lucky verse meta play simple games such as slots blackjack poker or simply roam the streets socialize with other people and visit other scenic landscape um, but the great things about this metaverse is our community is the house and that's how we're going to build it no matter what type of uh gameplay with that's inside the metaverse the house if anybody loses within the game the house wins 
all that money is paid back to the community, which is the house. So that's I, that's what we have for uh, kind of like outline that we want our metaverse to, to look like. And of course, we all know that the community needs to uh, help us to accomplish this. Um, so we're asking all the holders to do three things daily. Hodl your tokens, help guard the pot of gold, and then teach others how to do the same. I love how you said when the house wins that everyone else still basically wins because it goes back out to the community. So, you know, normally you're like, ah, oh, man, I lost. But this is kind of like, ah, oh, I lost. Because <laughs> you're like, I still get a chance to get something out of it. So I like that. My next question for you is your team doxed or KYC'd? We, have, we currently have about five core members. Um, one person is a developer, a business developer. We have a Solidity developer. We have a full stack uh, React and Next.js developer and a community manager. I'm the only one who's going to be docs at the moment. Um, but uh, our other team members have the freedom to dox themselves at any time. They have full time jobs, so they have to protect uh, their personal life. So I understand uh, if they make the decision not to dox. However, we are KYC. Um, and then uh, KYC with Pink Cell. And if you ever been through a Pink Cell KYC, it's brutal. So uh, then that's the reason why we want to make sure that we're also transparent and that the, anybody that's looking to invest in the Lucky Token, that they have the confidence that the team is here, we're not going anywhere, and the project has long-term uh, uh, longevity. And do you have an audit? Absolutely. Uh, the great things about what our audit was is once we, after our Solidity developer created the contract, we actually hired an independent developer to audit and evaluate the contract for us. So that way that developer would come back and, and uh, give us a report and then we can fix any issues, close any security uh, holes, and then once we get it re-audited by that same developer, then we turned around and then sent that over to Interfy, which we got an audit and it passed. And why did so you... basically? We... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What was the last thing you just said? Oh, so basically, we got two audits to make sure that the contract was secure. And why did you choose to launch this on the Binance Smart Chain? Oh. Um... I really like the Binance Smart Chain. I think it's an ecosystem that continues to explode every day. Um, it simplifies cross-chain compatibility or cross-chain compatibility. And of course it has low transaction fees and the blockchain uh, transaction performance is, I believe is suitable for mass adoption. Is the gold rain similar to that of other tokenomics where the amount and reflections that you earn, it will be uh, compared to other people's smaller wallets because you technically have more of the supply. So therefore you receive more of the cut of the pie. If the, if the wallet holder has a big enough supply, they're going to generate more rain in their wallet or more reflection. Yes. Okay. And the, um, I noticed on your website, so the 50% and the 55% for the pot of gold is a little bit confusing because the first thought I had is that, you know, you combine those two together, it adds up to 105%. But I understand there's two different things. Can you clarify how it can be both these distributions when uh, certain actions are taking place? Yeah, it is a little bit confusing. I probably need to reword that on our website. It's basically the same thing. What happens is, is when the lightning strike uh, hits the jackpot of gold and we pay it out, we're actually going to take 55% of the of the pot of gold and then we're going to send 50% back out by the lucky token and then send that back out to the community. Then the 5% is going to be sent to the growth fund wallet. And uh, why do you have a higher sell tax than a buy tax? We simply want to deter selling, but we do want to encourage profit taking. So we want people to understand that um, it takes a community to run this token and then and we use these taxes to fuel our jackpots and we want to deter people from selling but not a, not to a point to where we 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 feel, they feel that 
most of their profits are being taken away from tax. So we just increased it slightly by 3%. And then um, so that way, hey, if you've got a 20, 20% or more uh, winnings in your um, value of your token, then we encourage you to, to at least take profit. We want everybody to take profit. And looking down here at the Luckyverse ecosystem, so you've got the Lucky Lottery Pool, the Lucky Life Apparel Company, and Lucky Misfit NFTs. So I want to ask you about this uh, lottery pool. How would the distribution of lottery winnings possibly look like for the Lucky Lottery Pool? For example, if a ticket won and it was $2 uh, as compared to something else that maybe won millions, how would you handle that distribution? That's a very good question. Um, first, let me generalize the distribution. Our gold level payout, we're going to pay 40% out of BNB, buy the lucky token. We're going to take 40% of the lot of winnings, get BNB, buy the lucky tokens, and send it back to all the holders that purchased the ticket that, that same week of the lotto. Our silver payout, we're going to take 40%. The other 40% of BNB buy lucky tokens and then send it to all everybody in the community. And then the last 20%, we're going to take that BNB and send it to the growth fund. So that's general distribution of the lot of winnings. Now, where's that threshold that makes sense of when do we implement this uh, payout? And we've been toying around with uh, anywhere between a thousand to five thousand dollars to either wait till it reaches that accumulation and then do the distribution or if it's below a thousand for say we'll just take that and just reinvest it in buying lotto tickets interesting okay well that is the last of the questions that i had prepared is there anything else that comes to your mind we didn't talk about yet um, that you still want to be able to share with the community um yeah well what we want to do is I want to do is I want to make people understand that we created this token to be the ultimate wealth token. And it, and if we as a community come together and guard that pot of gold, we can make massive passive income for all the holders. And that's the reason why I say when no one wins, everyone wins. And last but not least, as part of the Lucky Life apparel company, um, we have a website called luckylife.com, which is where our apparel company is at. Every single time somebody purchases a, a product out of, that, uh, out of that store, we're going to use 25% of net profits and then buy the Lucky Token and redistribute that to all of our holders as well. So that's another way of, win, uh, of earning tokens. And then we're going to take another 10% of net profit and then support a charity that aligns with our goal, which is to end poverty. Because we believe that when you end poverty, you end hunger. And that's our number one goal. And we're gonna be aligning with uh, a few charity organizations that will help us um, attack that mission. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, Anthony, thank you so much for coming on, helping answer these different questions that I had prepared. If anybody is watching and you still have questions, like I mentioned before, I will provide the link to the resource material in the description. Again, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please go do your own research. And also, if you are interested, don't forget that they are on pre-sale, at least as of the time of making the video here. So you have an opportunity to jump on that. I will also include a link to the pink sale for that in the description down below. So um, I appreciate all of you guys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.